I rise today with my fellow senator from Arkansas, Senator Cotton, to honor Jeremiah, Jeremiah James Story, a Perry County Detention Center officer who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty last month. Born in Conway, Arkansas, Jeremiah was a 2020 graduate of Bigelow High School. Even as a young person, he was a dedicated public servant who loved his community and his country. In addition to working as a detention officer, he also served in the Army National Guard and aspired to become a state trooper. He wore his uniforms with pride and was passionate about giving back to others in a variety of ways. There was no gesture too small or unimportant for him to offer. Jeremiah was also a man of deep faith who never let, a pa never let pass an opportunity to share it with others. He devoted his life to following his Lord and Savior and was a longtime member of Rid Riverview Baptist Church where he routinely encouraged people he met to attend services with him. With his Christian belief as his hope and guide, he demonstrated a kindness and compassion for others and relied on the power of prayer to support and uplift others facing difficult situations. Jeremiah's friends and family knew he was special and strived to live by the example that he set. During a military training exercise last year, fellow troops recalled how Jeremiah suffered a from trench foot, and while he was ordered to stay off his feet, he couldn't resist the urge to serve others. So in spite of instructions and consequences to his own recovery, he jumped up and filled water bottles for his fellow troops. That was the kind of person he was, a giver. Those who served alongside him recall the tough situations they experienced together. While it was a taxing to be away from family and living in challenging conditions, Jeremiah did it with a smile on his face. He served his community with tremendous care and devotion. We are so grateful for his example and willingness to do the tough and dangerous job of ensuring public safety. At the young age of 21, he was taken far too soon. While his life on earth was short, he left a lasting legacy through the way he treated, cared for, and loved others. Even the inmates he was responsible for guarding appreciated his care and empathy. Several of them attended a memorial service for him to show their gratitude and their respect. He will be dearly missed by many, including his closest loved ones, but his memory will live on as a hero who made a positive impact on all those whose lives he touched. His death is a tragic re reminder of the risk law enforcement officers face each day that they put on their uniform and leave the comforts of their homes and their loved ones to serve and to protect. Senator Cotton and I are honored to pay this tribute to him to bring attention to a short but meaningful life and remember the noble calling he was willing to risk his life to answer. I pray for his family, friends, and colleagues as they mourn a fallen guardian who served others to the very end. May he rest in peace and may God bless him and keep him and all those that he leaves behind. I yield. Madam President. Junior Senator from Arkansas. Today, I join Senator Bozeman with a heavy heart to mourn the death of a young patriot and a selfless public servant. Last month, Jeremiah Story, a member of the Arkansas National Guard and a correctional officer at the Perry County Sheriff's Office, died in the line of duty. Officer Story was only 21 years old. He worked at the Perry County Detention Center and hoped to one day become a state trooper. He was known as an infectious source of joy among his friends and within his community, always uplifting those who needed cheering up and including those who felt left out. He was a devoted Christian who encouraged everyone to go to church and who shared the gospel with anyone who would listen. And he loved America, joining the Army National Guard as soon as he graduated from high school. Jeremiah Story was the type of selfless servant every young person should aspire to be. Three weeks ago, Officer Story was in the process of booking a drug criminal at the Perry County Detention Center when the criminal pulled out a concealed pistol 
and shot Officer Story in the chest. He died soon thereafter at a Conway hospital, and the coward who shot him is now charged with capital murder, as he should be. His murderer didn't get away with anything, didn't gain anything, didn't escape, nothing for this evil deed. He only snuffed down a bright, young, wonderful life. He should know, and every criminal in our state should know, that justice will be rendered for this awful slaying. In the aftermath of Officer Story's death, hundreds of Arkansans have come together to remember his life and mourn his loss. Among those who attended candlelight vigils for this special young man were the inmates at the Perry County Detention Center. The chaplain of the detention center said Officer Story was loved by a lot of different people, not just outside, but inside. He added that he had used Officer Story as an example setter for the inmates, for the kind of citizen and man they could inspire, they could aspire to be if they turn their lives around. Officer Story example lives on. Those who knew him, those who have just now heard of him, can draw inspiration for a life well lived. In 21 short years, Officer Story did more good and spread more joy than many others who have been blessed with many more years on this earth. He was a great Arkansan and a great American. May God bless and keep Officer Jeremiah Story, and may God console his family and friends in this time of grief. Madam President, I yield the floor.